What's going on guys and welcome back to the return of my FIFA 17 player predictions. I ended this, or not really ended it, I just kind of stopped it abruptly at episode 7. But I'm bringing it back now for episode 8 and I'm going to be continuing this through the summer guys. I work out a lot of these episodes out um, and if I do sound a bit weird I'm sorry I feel like I've got a bit of a cold or something coming on at the moment. So, But yeah, um, I'll just get right into the video. Of course we have got Chiellini, Sanchez and uh, Busquets we're going to be looking at. We're going to start off Chiellini. I believe he will maintain the rate and I don't believe he has been um, good enough. I think he's had quite a lot of injuries this season. He's only played, he's played half the games that Benucci's played, one of his partner centre-backs. So I think he hasn't been kind of um, good enough or he hasn't played enough games to get an upgrade. Saying that though, I don't think he's been bad enough to get a downgrade either. I've put down a few of his stats, like I've put down one pace, um, put down one dribbling, put down two shooting. I've also put him up four passing, uh, kept the defending the same and put him up two physical guys. But I think he will maintain that 87 rating on his cards. Um, and next year he'll be again a very, very solid defender to use at the back guys. Do you agree with this? Make sure to tell me down below. On to Busquets now. I believe this guy will get a plus one rating. I believe he's one of the most underrated players in Europe. He is a quality, quality player. One of the best midfielders in the world and he just doesn't get recognised, I don't feel, as that. Him and Miller, I believe, are the two most underrated players in the world, guys. You never really hear, or who do I grow up to be, Sergio Busquets, even though he is a very, very good centre defensive mid. I'd probably say he has the best central defensive mid in the world. If Barcelona hadn't had him um, for kind of the periods, they probably wouldn't be the same team they are just now. He was one of the main players there, along with kind of Messi, Iniesta, Xavi, um, with that Tiki attack of football that helped him um, become one of the greatest squads that has ever been, guys. So I believe he should get a plus one, up uh, a plus one upgrade, sorry. And yeah, it just depends on if EA will give him it or not. On to the final player now, guys. And it is going to be Alexis Sanchez. I believe this guy got a plus one rating. I'm not too sure if he'll get a plus one or a, or, a, or just kind of keep it the same. I'm going to give him plus one um, just because I don't really want to have two zero rating upgrades in this video. But... I wouldn't be surprised if he was 86. He has been injured quite a lot, um, but he is a great player, a very, very quality player. I've given him plus two pace, the same dribbling, plus two shooting, uh, plus two defending, plus one passing, and also plus one physical. If he does get this card, he'll be a very, very overpowered player in the game. Probably the same rating as maybe players like Hazard, something like that, as I believe Hazard um, is going to get quite a big downgrade because he hasn't been good at all, basically, for Chelsea this season. So he could be the new kind of... Um, highest rated left wing or joint highest rated left wing in the league so that'll be quite nice to see he has been good when he's not been injured but although he has been injured quite a lot and just hasn't played that much for us in this season but I'm going to put him up anyway because he is a very quality player guys do you agree with these make sure to tell me in the comment section down below also leave a like in the video and comment if you'd like to, uh, players you'd like to see me do in future episodes I'm thinking of maybe doing some youngsters like Ian Atchell, Rashford, uh, Awobi, players like that do you guys want to see that make sure to comment down below well, guys if you have enjoyed the video, 20 likes would be insane. Subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.